Hare Krishna. Welcome to the Bhagavad Gita class. Today is uh, Sunday, 4th October 2013. 15, sorry. We will start with our prayers and I will request uh, Rashmi Mataji to please chant. Om Ajnanam Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobisham Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapada Kamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavansha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunatan Mitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitasha Hail Krishna, Karuna Sindhu, Dina Bandhu, Jagatpate, Gopesha, Gopika Kanta, Radha Kanta, Namastute, Tapta Kanchan Gaurangi, Radhe Runda Vaneshwari, Rishabhan Sute Devi, Pranamami Hari Priye, Vancha Kalpata Rubyasha, Vipa Sindhu Vyavacha, Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Hiti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyabadi Pashata Desha Tarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhaktaranda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Namah Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutare Shri Mateja Pataka Swami Niti Namine Namacharya Padaya Nityaya Krupa Pradayane Gorakatha Dhamadaya Nagara Gramatarine Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Hare Krishna So we are in chapter 2 and we completed uh, 40, so today we will be taking 41, sloka number 41. Very, very interesting shloka and also powerful, a very perfect instruction. 2.40 itself was, you know, giving us an assurance about our devotional service. Now 2.41 takes us further. Devasa Yatmika Buddev Ekeha Kurunandana Devasa Yatmika Buddev Ekeha Kurunandana Bahusha Kaya Anantascha Buddha Yoga Vasai Nam Bahusha Kaya Anantascha Buddha Yoga Vasai Nam Vyavasayatmika Buddha Ekeha Kurunandana 
व्यवसायात्मिका बुद्धे एक नंदना बहुशाखाय अनंत बुद्ध यो व्यवसायिना बहुशाखाय अनंत बुद्ध यो व्यवसायिना सौम्य माता जी लक्ष्मी माता जी व्यवसायात्मिका व्यवसायात्मिका बहुशाखाय अनंत बुद्धयो व्यवसायिनाय अनंत बुद्धयो व्यवसायिना प्रेमा वर्दी ने माता जी व्यवसाय का बुद्धि एक वर्ड बाय वर्ड मीनिंग व्यवसाय आत्मिका व्यवसाय इन इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस बुद्धि बुद्धि इंटेलिजेंस चाइल्ड ऑफ द कुरुज चाइल्ड ऑफ द कुरुज बहुशाखा बहुशाखा Having various branches. Having various branches. He. 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 Indeed. Indeed. Ananta. 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 Unlimited. Unlimited. Cha. Cha. Also. 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 Buddha yaha. Buddha yaha. Intelligence. 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 अव्यवसाय अव्यवसायिनाम इंटेलिजेंस ऑफ दो is many branched those who are on this path those who are on this path are resolute in purpose are resolute, are resolute in purpose and their aim is one and, and their, their aim is one o oh, beloved child of the kurus o oh, beloved, oh, beloved child of the kurus the intelligence of those The intelligence of those who are irresolute, who are irresolute, are irresolute is many branched. Is, is many, many branched. So so far, Krishna has been talking about uh, Buddhi Yoga. Thirty-nine, forty. Thirty-nine. He talked about that. Forty. He told about what happens if you if you follow that. And there he says that there is no loss. and then now he is talking about both people who are devotees 
who are in Krishna consciousness and that's their only goal is to satisfy Krishna, to serve Krishna. And then those who are using their intelligence in many other ways. You know, and they are irresolute, meaning jumping from one to the other. They are all Bahushakha. Of course, one may say that uh, multitasking is a good thing. But multitasking is different than multi-consciousness, you know, like Krishna consciousness is Krishna consciousness. You know, it is not even God consciousness. There's a difference. When we say God consciousness, we are a little loose in uh, because we can twist the definition of God as per our desire. You know, like we can say, okay, I like this, so I take this. Like people say, oh, humko jo achha lagta hai, wo karta hai. You know, like, but that we are not in that group. We are in a group where we are following the instructions of acharyas as per Guru Sadhu Shastra. And this life uh, time is very short, actually, you know. We don't have so many decades to go. We don't know. We are at different stages already. Of course, some are young, some are old. But still, in our total journey, this period is a very small period. And we have to achieve bigger things in this smaller period, you know, because this is how we got the human birth. We need to do that. Otherwise, we will have to again come, again come. You know, like we saw what is the greatest fear? Repeated birth and death. So if you want to enjoy that, then it's okay. Then no, no need of even reading Bhagavad Gita, you know, because then it's okay. Just do what you have to do. But if you want to become successful in life in the real sense, real terms, then we have to take this up very seriously. This is the only chance we got. Otherwise, next time we again don't know, you know, where we'll be born. We may be born in some African tribe, you know, where the man, one man eats the other man, you know, that's the system there. Then what do you do? What is where is the chance of your or you go? You can be born in some horrible places, horrible planets. So, best thing is to be resolute. And there are some very, very wonderful commentaries on this particular verse. So, let's take them one by one. Rashmi Mataji, you can read this. Among all types of intelligence, that intelligence concentrated on Bhakti Yoga is the best. Resolute intelligence fixed in Bhakti Yoga is only one. The meaning of this is illustrated as follows. My sadhana is to serve the lotus feet of the, of the Lord. So spelling mistake, Prabhuji. Lotus feet of the Lord, right? To remember and glorify him as instructed by my Guru. That is also my goal, Satya. It is my life-sustaining medicine, for I cannot give up the sadhana and the Satya. This is my most desirable object, my duty, and nothing else is my duty. Nothing else is desired, even in dreams. There may be happy, happiness or sorrow, Samsara may be destroyed or may not, may not be destroyed. That is no loss, to, loss for me. Let there only be a solid intelligence fixed in pure bhakti. This is, this is resolution. This is resolution. You know, sometimes we say, new year resolution, you know, I want to do this and I want to do that. But here, Acharya, this is from Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. He says, if you are talking of resolution, like here it says, Vyavasaya Atmika, then this is what it is. He talks about sadhana and sadhya. Sadhya is Krishna, that is our object. 
And sadhana is our devotional service. And then, you know, he in the same thing, he has put so many things to remember and glorify him, glorify him as instructed by Guru. So Guru is included. And then he says, this is my medicine, sustaining medicine, meaning this will sustain my spiritual life, my spiritual being. I cannot give it up. So once we are in, there is no way out. Some people, of course, bloop, they, they think that, okay, this is not my, for me. But most of the time when we come into it and we start tasting it, then we don't want to leave it, you know, at no cost. There can be problems, there can be obstacles, there can be hurdles, there can be so many things, you know. But we need to be really, really fixed. And it says, you know, like as I, say, as I said, how obstacles, it says there may be happiness, sorrow, this whole material world may be destroyed, not destroyed. So we are not, not, not concerned. We are not concerned. So it's a very, very wonderful, I think everybody should take a printout and put it on their refrigerator or wherever, you know, you lovely one, very, very beautiful. Then this is to be done with a Dhrita Nishchaya. So I can read this. My devotee should remain happy and worship me with great faith and conviction. The intelligence of others, however, is not ek. Those intellects are unlimited, ananta, rather than one, because of the unlimited desire to fulfill in karma yoga. The intellects have infinite branches because of the infinity actions in their practices. This is uh, the first sentence is for the devotees. You know. Krishna is saying in Bhagavatam 11.20.28 that my devotee should remain happy and worship me with great faith and conviction. Bhakti and Shraddha. You know. Bhajetamam. Tato Bhajetamam. With Dhrida Nishchaya. In Bhagavad Gita also he says Satatam Kirtayanto Maam. Satatam. It's not that you know you are a part-time devotee or something like that. Most of us are part-time devotees. But that is only the beginning. You should not think that this is how it's going to be for the rest of your life or so on. You know. Because your duties are going to, so-called prescribed duties are going to change, you know. Of course, prescribed duty remains same, I'm sorry. But your so-called duties change, you know. Like a brahmachari, a young person or a brahmacharini, they do not have to worry about uh, feeding the family and so on. You know, their duty is different, you know, that's to get educated, etc., etc. And then again, when you are uh, in Vanaprastha, then you already finished all your Garastha duties. So you are not into that, you know, sannyasi has nothing to do with making money and this and that. You know. So it's duty changes, right? But the prescribed duty remains same. That is, to serve Krishna with all your heart. So we can see that, you know, this, this sloka, we can see around us people, they're just struggling. Everybody's struggling. You know, and then for that mitigation of their struggle, they go to this uh, sadhu, that Babaji, this and that, and you know, Jyotishi and so on and so forth. And there's no end, right? Something happening somewhere, oh, and then somebody gives some, take this vibhuti, take this kumkumam, this and that. And I like, we are everywhere. That's what, that is what is called as Hinduism today. You know, like Hinduism has become, from Sanatana Dharma, it has become like, you know, you do something. Okay, keep doing something. Whenever, okay, you do, keep doing your own thing. And whenever, once in a while on Purnima, Sankashti, this, that, you know, some fixed days are there. 
or somebody invites you for his child's i mean i have been conducting these programs for so many years i'm sorry to say that the people who come there only 10% come for the program actually real you know i i have to tell them sometimes you know when i'm doing say for example satyanarayan katha or i am doing some havan or something i have to tell them you have come for this program. there is no other program here is not going to be any dance or something you know some film star coming so please and you have come for this so please join it you know something something good may fall on your ear something can change your life but people are you know they come late and then they are busy talking to each other at the time you know they are just waiting for the food to be served that's all and that's all and they the chit chat sometimes i have to tell them okay you are not interested at least go outside and you know chat, talk because here you are disturbing those few people who are interested even they are getting disturbed so it's it's a bad situation and krishna said this 5200 years back actually he said it 120 million years back but at least now recently because he knows that how people are going to but he's so merciful he just says okay i no problem you can do what you want to do if you want my help i am available if you don't my help don't want my help i am not available i will not disturb you okay i think we are only two devotees online today just now kamalini mata ji left i don't know what happened to her so rashmi mata ji in gyana yoga in order to put purify the mind one first fixes the intelligence in nishkam karma when the mind is purified the intelligence then concentrates on giving up action this is called karma sanyasa next the intelligence concentrate on gyana knowledge the intelligence at that time also concentrate on bhakti so that the gyan does not become without result and the intelligence then concentrates on giving up gyan as the lord says gyanam cha mai sanyaset one should surrender such knowledge in order to attain me shrimad bhagavatam 1191 <laughs> So this is for the Jnana Yogi, you know, this real Jnana Yogi process is this. You know, you first, okay, first you acquire knowledge to purify. So you just acquire knowledge and start performing Nishkama Karma. And when the mind is purified, then your intelligence, your buddhi, then you go to buddhi yoga. You know, then you say, give up. First you say Nishkama, then say, give up. From Nishkama. nishkama karma you going to a karma that means then you take sanyas karma sanyas no more karma just fully concentrating on the devotion and then when this stage comes then naturally the bhakti comes along with that you know that's why always we always say gyana and karma they ultimately end up in bhakti so then then the real use of your gyana is there and then ultimately <laughs> once you acquire that then a bhakta wants to give up gyana because you know gyana is sometimes dangerous you know you start speculating here there there you know like that so ultimate goal is to gyanam cha mai sanyaset just give up krishna says give up this knowledge surrender this knowledge then only you can come to me to attain me <laughs> so imagine you know you you are working whole life for that and then you have been asked to give up like krishna asked arjuna to give up everything like right? just surrender but that doesn't mean you stop acting you know action is there but karma is not there that's the that's the trick that's the science of krishna consciousness you do action but you are no more doing karma 
first you do karma yoga you are doing karma which is connecting you to krishna and once you are connected then you start doing everything only for krishna like you know we saw the previous uh, instruction so this is simply wonderful this is for the people who are you know always talking about gyan and gyan again without knowledge nothing As krishna also says but what kind of knowledge that people don't talk you know they they think that everything is knowledge no no how to kill a cow without dropping a blood is also a science that also you know a thing of knowledge but is that knowledge useful at least for us i mean there are some people who for them it is useful also so again somya a strong faith that by krishna consciousness one will be elevated to the highest perfection of life is called vyavsayatmika intelligence the chaitanya charitamrit states shraddha shabde विश्वास कहे श्रद्धा शब्द विश्वास कहे सुदृढ़ निश्चय कृष्ण भक्ति कहले सर्वकृत है श्रद्धा शब्द विश्वास कहे सुदृढ़ निश्चय कृष्ण भक्ति कहले सर्व कर्म कृत है of course it need not be read like a poem but i'm just saying letting you know this is from chaitanya charitamrita the whole thing is there are a lot of sanskrit shlokas also there but here it says very clearly shraddha shabde vishwas kah you know shraddha and so faith the definition of faith is that which is taking you to the higher levels that is called faith you know not that something nonsense and you have you say we have faith in that no with the sudrada nischaya again same thing krishna bhakti kaile sarva karma krita hai if you do krishna bhakti then sarva karma already included krita hai you know you already finished your karma Yes, Rashmi Mataji. Faith means unflinching trust in something sublime. When one is engaged in the duties of Krishna consciousness, he need not act in relationship to the material world with obligation to family tradition, humanity, or nationality. Creative activities are the engagements of one's reaction from past good or bad deeds. when one is awake in krishna consciousness he need no longer endeavor for good results in his activities when one is situated in krishna consciousness all activities are on the absolute plane for they are no longer subject to dualities like good and bad so again when we do some karma is always a good karma and a bad karma right but in krishna consciousness in in devotional service there is no good or no bad you know everything is absolute that's why we call it sukruti you know no obligation actually if you really become the thing is again somebody will say oh no you are asking us to do that you know i have to take care and i, I told you already not everybody has to do that the people who are supposed to do that they have also the duty of bringing up the family in krishna consciousness what about that so you have forgotten your first duty and now you are talking of only secondary duty you know to feed them to get money so that they become non devotees they become meat eaters they become alcoholics they become you know, this is what we are doing only in the old traditional family ways you know their things are still okay you know there is some talk of uh, bhagavad gita bhagavatam etc but otherwise look at the modern families so called modern families who are time for all this you making big money slogging working on saturday sunday and get what then you go on some cruise or some casino or you know this party or that party you know, like one reason for my moving out of uh, my previous place was 
people had only one festival there you know throughout the year birthdays every saturday and sunday you know there will be some birthday or then and even those who are started becoming devotees slowly even they get caught in that you know so they will be missing so many program because they have to attend some birthday so that is a real dharma and what they do on the birthday i might have attended one or two in the beginning but the same thing again and again a same cake they don't even bother whether it is eggless or not eggless or something you know same pizza they don't even bother about how it was made and from where it has come you know. the same balloons and the same gossip and same everything you know absolutely no difference nobody thinks even they puts a little mind into that that okay we can make the same event as a krishna conscious events as a satsang so that you know and then of course we introduce this in our own groups was bhakti rikshas we have bhaktas but then we have a totally different we do aprorious kirtan nice some games krishna games you know of course wonderful wonderful prasadam so the thing is again you know this again the same thing one is with karma one is without karma swamya mataji Service in Krishna consciousness is, however, best practiced under the able guidance of a spiritual master who is a bona fide representative of Krishna, who knows the nature of the student, and who can guide him to attain Krishna consciousness. As such, to be well versed in Krishna consciousness, one has to act firmly and obey the representative of Krishna. and one should accept the instruction of the bona fide spiritual master as one's mission in life so everything that we do is under the guidance of a guru or his representative very very important we cannot do it whimsically we cannot read books whimsically okay okay i am reading this that is a good book and this is a good book you know like we have to really ask our seniors or the representative or whoever you are in touch with get approval because you know sometimes outwardly it looks very good but you know it can take you away from krishna consciousness because you know it will be talked in such a nice language etc but you know the real purpose will be lost so one has to be careful so he says you know you have to act firmly again dr nishchay and obey the representative obey if somebody says that see, no spiritual master or representative will tell you anything which is not in good good for you you know there is no ulterior motive this just to and because he, he they don't speak anything other than scriptures other than shastra yes mata ji Rashmi, Rashmi Mataji. Actually, the various conditioned states of mind, due to the influence of uncountable impression, leading to innumerable opinions. Therefore, Arjuna may have a doubt and inquire, how can he have faith in these words without any reservation? anticipating this the supreme lord neutralizes this query with this verse amongst all the prescribed recommended opinions having truthful attributes there is always singular unity this is the actual meaning so here krishna uses the word eka vinish you know there is a, there is no such thing that okay you have this option and then the more options are there the more problems are there sometimes people get even in devotional service they get confused now vidha bhakti they come and say, prabhu ji you know what is more important it is you know puja is important or you know atma nivedana you know like that they they have this differentiation between them they don't understand that this everything is complemented to each other and you can take any one of them or any two of them or any all of them you know like there is no such thing like uh, oh if you i do this will i lose that or something like that no 
So the goal is one and the process is one. Only within the process there are variations available. It's not dry, you know, because otherwise it becomes a dry process. Okay, you do only one thing, nothing else. No. Okay. So my Mataji. There is a huge difference between the mentality of intelligence involved in actions seeking fruit of God and the mentality of the spiritually evolved engaged in selfless actions not seeking rewards devoted to the Lord Krishna, which bring great happiness. Thus, Lord Krishna says the word vyavas or resolute. The purpose for actions must be resolute. One should perform actions with the thought that it is for the ultimate satisfaction for Lord Krishna thinking that their action will please him and for not other reason. So our devotion, our bhakti should be only with one goal, one object, to please Krishna, nothing else. It's not for pleasing ourselves, it's not for showing others that oh, I'm a great devotee or something, you know, I look at my kanti mala and look at my tilak and you know, like, I take the chadar this way and somebody's like this way and you know, I, I cover my head, I don't cover my head. I mean, there's so many wonderful <laughs> varieties available even in, so here, the resolution is only one. Yes, this is for Krishna. This is for Krishna. I am ready to, like we saw, we go back to the, you know, uh, my sadhana is to serve the lotus feet of the Lord, to remember and glorify Him as instructed by my Guru. That is also my sadhya. It is my life sustaining medicine. For I cannot give up the sadhana and the sadhya. This is my most desirable object, my duty, and nothing else is my duty. Nothing else is desired. Even in dreams, there may be happiness or sorrow, samsara may be destroyed or may not be destroyed. That is no loss for me. Let there only be resolute intelligence fixed in pure bhakti. Thank you, Hare Krishna. So if you have any question, comment, we can take it up. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. So these uh, prayers, we can repeatedly say every day, that right. will definitely help us uh, in our progress to Krishna consciousness. Probably, That's right? what I said, you know, you either memorize it or you put it on the computer uh, top or wherever, you know, wherever you see it. Where you're right paper, yeah. where, whichever area of your house, you definitely see every day. Maybe the mirror, maybe the mirror, because you know that's one area where nobody can escape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this is said by uh Srila Vishwanath Thakur Prabhuji, right? Prabhuji Thakur, yes, okay, okay, Prabhuji. And, uh, thank you, thank you, Prabhuji. It is, uh, it is really. Uh, Awakening to the soul, Prabhuji. Very nice uh, experts. So like, you know, I'm, 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 I read it second time, and as I'm now seeing, you know, I'm remembering my all hairs are standing on my body, you know, like I'm, I'm feeling yes, the okay. advantage of that uh, instruction. Yeah, it's like very, very nice instructions, Prabhuji. Very, truly nice. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Prabhuji, in one of the purports, uh, there is a uh, translation of a shloka from Bhagavatam in which uh, Lord Krishna sh says that uh, first one should uh, practice Nishkam Karm Yoga, then he should give up, uh, he should uh, move on to Karm Sanyasa. After that, uh, he should concentrate on uh, Buddhi Yoga, then he should switch over to uh, attaining me. Hmm. So Ashtanga. Prabhuji, Ashtanga Yoga. sorry Prabhuji, he did not say Ashtanga Yoga, he said Jnana Yoga. Ashtanga Yoga? No, no, he did not say anything like that. It's, it's a Jnana Yoga. There is no word come Ashtanga Yoga. Okay. I didn't say Ashtanga Yoga, Prabhuji. I I, I'm sorry, I heard Ashtanga Yoga. That's what I'm asking. No, Prabhuji, I said Karm Sanyas, then I said no, no, Yoga. No. Or... Acquire no, Jnana, Prabhuji... then, then give up. You know, that's what he says. Again, again, first acquire Gyan, 
then through jnana you develop bhakti and then you have pure bhakti and then you know then you give up jnana use that bhakti for giving up jnana because jnana is the one which is going to come in your way always prabhu ji i wanted to clarify that jnana here means knowledge of god itself it is prabhu ji what is that what is that knowledge about god yeah like when you know, god tells about this because like it's like this now you know that krishna is the absolute truth right once that yes, is the gyan you acquired now don't start speculating on that you know you know mm -hmm. it so now practice it you know that is the verse what is he saying is that you start practicing it and don't go don't, don't get attached to that you know then because what happens otherwise oh i know it so it's some there is some pride in that you know i know it right so mm, yes give up that pride that's why sanya sanya means to give up your pride then he said krishna i am yours thank you very much you know i know that now i am yours and i am nobody i am what is the ultimate what we are saying is i am your eternal servant right and when we say yes, i sir. know this then you are a little you know then you are a little uh, away from that position of servant because you think that oh because servant can never claim that he knows right in at least in the front of the lord if you say that then uh, then there is a problem even even in front of guru maharaj you know we are always supposed to be ignorant we never to show off our knowledge to guru that oh i know this and i know that because moment you do that the flow of mercy stops the mercy flows only when we are Uh, like a receiver always you know guru is always yes, in position we are always there. so same way krishna we are we are doing it for krishna so in the through that knowledge oh i know now krishna is the supreme so you know you start feeling your satisfaction independent of krishna so that is why it is dangerous you know that krishna says krishna is saying just become bhakti sanny i mean uh, what is gyan sanyas i like that word <laughs> Take yeah, some, yes. Take some from Gyan. And uh, yes, if you go into uh, the depth of it, your mind it gets uh, confused, it gets yeah, swayed. Yes. Yes. And um, yes. absolutely. Uh, you get uh, what to say. You start kind of torturing. That's right. That's right. I'm saying that you know, you take the humblest position and then just finish. Insignificant. Nothing. and then only so, then only you can serve with full heart because you know otherwise you feel okay am i getting the satisfaction am i getting you know out of this anything then there is a problem of course this is yes sir yes sir this is at a very 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 high level you know we can only yes sir speculate we cannot we, we even don't know because nobody none of us has reached that level that we have the experience first hand experience <laughs> we can only know from others experience experience of the great devotees you know how they gave up everything for krishna yes prabhu ji Pr prabhu ji uh, like uh, before the start of the bhagavad gita classes you um, told us about uh, opulences of god that is most beautiful he is the most powerful so that was gyan. yeah that's and gyan. then that's gyan yes prabhu ji but in that gyan oh krishna is the most beautiful can i become one you know some that may come yes so, prabhu yes, no okay krishna is the only most beautiful finish <laughs> i'm not going to go into that direction i i don't want to be like him i always want to be his servant you know so this is what yes prabhu yes you want uh, for example krishna is the most renounced so can i become more renounced than krishna because you know then we can think like that so that is why that whole idea is to give up i really really like that idea believe me you know because i a lot of time we think that okay i am better than others you know oh to wo bhi nahi kar raha hai main to kam se kam ye kar raha hu main 16 mala kar raha hu wo 3 nahi mala kar like that this comes to our mind many many yes, so i am attending bhagavatam she is not attending my friend best friend she is not attending so i am better than her and so on and so mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. these, are all, these are all dangerous areas this way yes, stop yes. our progress so we have to become really even if you know something as i said in front of guru you can always tell in a different way you know in as a question 
Guru Maharaj, I I read somewhere or I think like that. Am I right? You know, get a confirmation from the Guru. If at all you want mm-hmm. to, see. not that I know. Like I have seen people coming and asking, Guru Maharaj, I have a question, and that question will be ten minutes. You know, and in that question, all they are telling is just telling and telling and telling and telling Guru Maharaj everything that they know this and then they know this and then they know this. Right. So, like, yes. this is imitating, uh, let's say, Vidura, Vidura and Uddhava. When they are there, you know, Vidura is also telling lots of things. So, Vidura is telling. So, why cannot I tell? But then we are forgetting the situation of Vidura and his position. I mean, our position and his position. So, I'm just saying. The underline is be humble. Be humble and try to serve Krishna to the best of your capacity. That's all. Okay. Yes, Prabhuji. And Prabhuji, that envy that you just talked about, yeah. it is only in the beginning that one experience I feel, Prabhuji. Because initially when I read Bhagavad Gita, I used to feel, oh, God is uh, God is so exalted, why not I? But when you uh, realize that you are only a part of God, then mm. when there is non-duality, then how can that exist? That's what it says here, you know, this process is to purify. And once you are start getting purified, then all these nonsense thoughts get out slowly. Yes, Sir. that gyan is uh, that gyan aids in bhakti yoga when you imagine that like uh, God says that I am everywhere and I am karn karn me hu me patte patte me hu zare zare me. So that gyan is the uh, that is actually devotion only, isn't it, Prabhu? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Accepting Seeing God everywhere. Above. Yes. Accepting God's omnipotency, omniscience, yes, omnipresence. Exactly. That's yes, absolutely. Thank and you. And Prabhuji, one thing. More. Yeah. Can we answer one little uh, short question? No, no Prabhuji, uh, you, you. Thank you, Prabhuji. Prabhuji, you talked about Navida Bhakti. I was always confused. Like uh, there are nine types of nine types of bhakti. So. Uh, if we practice even one of it, then also we can reach God, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. So Prabhuji, like Prabhuji, I enjoy reading scriptures. I like to visualize God. I like to remember Him. But when I do arti and mm-hmm. when I uh, offer flowers and all, I don't enjoy it that probably because of my nature, Prakriti Prabhuji, probably. But, but you know, here is a little little advice on that. Nature is good. Okay, nature is all right. Everything is all right. But the whole thing is that by reading all that, whatever we you know, whatever we liked, we read. Actually, we should be enjoying the offering of flower more than when we are not doing it. You know, that <laughs> it's not the other way around. Because now you know the meaning of uh, offering a flower to Krishna. Okay. So once you know the meaning, then you should be enjoying it more rather than less. So all this, that's what you know, this, all this reading, etc. should help you in increasing your devotion in every which way. And, and encompassing, you know, it's not like, you know, exclusive. Everything is inclusive. So the best example is Amrish Maharaj, you know, how he used his whole body. He used each limb of his body in the devotional service. That should be our goal. Okay, you are covering one area, your intelligence. Like, okay, by reading, etc., we can get that. But what about the follow-up on that? So anyway, it's, it's, I'm not saying you should pursue what you like the best, no doubt about that. But at the same time, don't look down upon something else. That, no, then, Prabhuji, I'm not... No, I'm just, I'm not saying you are doing it, but what I'm saying is that can lead to that. Oh, I'm doing something superior. The some person is doing only Aarti Karte, unko kya pata hai, no kya hai, Bhagavad Gita mein kya likha hai. So sometimes we do like, you know, we have that tendency. Some I've seen, because I'm, I'm telling you, I'm a 70 year old person now, I know what it is, you know. I've seen, I've been seeing devotees for last 35, 40 years. I've been seeing the outward, outside world for more than 60 years. I mean, ever since I started understanding things, you know. So the point is, yeah. this happens, you know, because it happens with us also. We also get caught in this sometimes. So this is a caution. This 
this reading bhagavad gita commentaries and all is just for cautioning us so that we correct our course wherever we are going wrong we can correct it okay so i sort of prabhu ji uh, used to look down upon it not uh, in a bad way i mean i had uh, reading and remembering because remembering because at the time of that you attain god only if you remember him so i used to think that uh, if i'm already remembering it then what is the requirement but when i came in touch with you now i try but i don't know prabhu ji i don't look down upon it anymore but it doesn't come to me how many are at the time that's why i'm saying it's don't everything is natural flow you know it's don't don't make it artificial in artificially you cannot do anything okay but by training the mind you can start liking things which you are not yes. liking really. yeah yes prabhu ji by practicing yeah okay yes sir thank you very much hari krishna hari krishna thank you hari krishna thank you Prabhu ji, uh, I, yeah. I mean, I just want to ex- share. I mean, I had this question like, why to read so many uh, scriptures, and you right. know, and I got the answer today, like you know, in this in Janam Cha Mai Sanyasat, like that yeah. uh, one uh, shloka. From, no need actually. Uh, no need. There is no need. Yeah. yeah. So I I got that uh, thing, and uh, I mean, it satisfied my mind because I have a tendency I forget the things very fast. I mean. Mm-hmm. whatever i used to forget very fast i don't know some, some something is wrong with me so exceptional you are not exceptional everybody has that so no, it's like as far as the scriptures as concerned prabhu ji like you know i can't remember the shlokas i can't uh, so you don't remember what you ate on last saturday evening do you remember <laughs> no, forget about shlokas <laughs> this is kaliyuga buddhi okay. Yeah. okay thank you prabhu ji thank you mataji yeah अरे